what's going on guys so check it out one thing that guys commonly experience when they start approaching especially once they start to polarize more which means when they're doing their approach initial approach they're not showing up platonic they're not showing up friendly they're very clear in their intention you start to get responses from girls that sound something like this i'm sorry i have a boyfriend oh thank you but i have a boyfriend i'm seeing someone right now i'm sorry i can't right so if you guys are starting to receive a lot of those responses don't worry you're on the right track that's actually a good thing because if you weren't polarizing you wouldn't be getting any of that at all you're probably just be getting platonic conversations and who wants platonic conversations when you're really there to meet the girl and strike up a connection right so i'm gonna show you guys in this video what i do and what i say when girls tell me they have a boyfriend how i push through it and end up getting the girl's number or getting a date getting sex etc 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 so anyways let's talk about the topic first and foremost so if you're at this stage congratulate yourself a lot of times when we're starting off approaching we're not polarizing enough we're not being assertive we're not showing clear intention and so a lot of times is not even sure why we're there right so let's say a lot of times we do indirects do you know where this is do you know where that is do you have the time etc cetera, etc cetera. and you'll get that but when you try to keep the conversation going all you're getting is pretty much platonic it's not going anywhere you actually want to go in so if you guys are actually starting to get those responses from girls that are telling you that boyfriends that's perfect now like anything else in approaching it's just a hurdle it is just a challenge and i want to teach you guys how to overcome it okay so know this that when a woman tells you she has a boyfriend don't take it as absolute 100 percent i'm not available i can't talk to you i am not going to give you my number because it doesn't always mean that realistically sure part of the time it does part of the part of the time these girls do have boyfriends and that's totally fine but a lot of the times we're self ejecting self rejecting way too soon i see it in a lot of the clients will go out they'll be talking to a girl i'm looking at them and the interaction is going solid the girl's locked in she's loving this guy and you can tell there's something going on over there they can tell there's something there's something that she's enjoying right but then the guy will come back to me almost prematurely it feels like and i'm like cool what happened with the girl and it was like oh you know what's going good we're chatting it up i was like okay cool what happened well, she said she had a boyfriend and i was like okay cool and then you just let her go it's like yeah but she said she had a boyfriend i was like okay cool so i know from experience that that's not the end all be all and i'm going to show you in a little bit how to prod and poke through that to get to the other side of it to find out if it's actually true or she's just telling you that because that's her instinctual answer that she gives to all guys who are coming with that energy. So in just a second, I'm gonna show you how to I poke and prod to find out if that's really true. Because a lot of the times, girls may give you that answer instinctively. Like it's just the answer they give guys who are polarizing. It's not an end all be all and it's not always what they make it seem or how we as men perceive it when a girl tells you she has a boyfriend. So I want you guys to start to journey on the other side of that to reap the benefits of pushing a little bit more than you're used to pushing, pushing a little bit more than you're comfortable pushing, pushing just a little bit more to find out the truth of a matter so that in your future approaches, you know not to take that as an absolute, okay? Before we get to that, I want you guys to hit like, hit subscribe, so you can get our videos every Friday, Monday, Brian's constantly putting out videos, Tuesday live calls, uh, I want you guys to really immerse yourself in this stuff like I did when I was a student. When I first came into Fearless, I learned a lot, but what really got me over those humps was really showing up and being around the energy as much as possible. I took a workshop, but I also watched all the YouTube videos. I was just soaking this information up so much. And as a result, I am where I am now because of it. So I want you guys to also reap the benefits of it. A lot of guys find this stuff hard, and it is at first, but it's not when it becomes easy. Like it's hard until it becomes easy. And once it's easy, you'll wonder why it was ever hard in the first place. Again, hit like and subscribe so we can constantly fill your feed with material that you guys actually want to know and learn and get better at, all right? On to the poking and prodding process that I subject women to when I'm uh, approaching, okay guys? So I'm walking up to a girl, hey, 
Hey, how's your day going? Or, hey, I saw you over there. I thought you were beautiful. I just want to come say hi to you. I, I love that outfit you have. It's so sexy on you. Hey, I'm sorry. My name is Anthony. What's your name? Right? So we started talking. We're hitting it off really good. She's smiling. She's laughing. And she's like, I have a boyfriend. And what I used to do in this scenario was I used to just be like, damn, that was the end all be all. Okay, cool. Well, it was nice meeting you. And that'll be the end of the conversation. And nothing would ever come from that because it was self-ejecting. And at the time, I didn't know it was self-ejecting. So what I started to do is I started to get more confident in my approaches was I started to play with that a little bit. When girls would be like, I have a boyfriend, I'd be like, I was like, is it, is it serious? Right? And this may not seem like a big deal or a big thing to ask, <laughs> but it was one step further in that direction I was scared to go. I was scared to poke and prod and ask questions and, and find out if it was actually true or find out how serious this relationship was if she was really having one. And what I learned is that a lot of the time, what's going on is that there might, they might be talking to a guy, they might be talking to a few guys and they may not be serious with any of those guys. And then you come along with that inner energy, that masculine, penetrating, leading, containing energy. And all of a sudden she's digging you more than she's digging the other guys. So if I ever get that nowadays, what I do and what I suggest you guys to do is poke prod. Ooh, tell me about this boyfriend of yours. What's his name? What, when's his birthday? Oh, so you really do have a boyfriend. Okay, cool. I was just checking. Or I might say something like, there's no way you have a boyfriend. You got to be kidding me. <laughs> right? And I'll poke at it. And I'll ask questions like, cool, you know, is, it's a good relationship. Cool, how long you guys been together? So I'll kind of poke and prod and laugh. And a lot of times I'll get girls who are just like, no, nah, we've just been dating for like, I don't know, a couple weeks or a month or something like that. And then you can tell right off the bat, it's something serious and that she's still kind of open. And in doing that, she kind of surrenders because now that you have the information, you ha you're given a lot more data to play with, right? Because you know now at this point that it's not how you perceived it in your head initially. And it's a little bit different than that because if you know she's only been seeing this guy for a couple of weeks or to a month, it's probably not too serious and she's probably still open. A lot of girls don't really shut down and commit to one guy unless they've been seeing each other for a while or that guy has already asked her to be his girlfriend. So poke, prod, play, you know, ask about the boyfriend. Tell me more about that. Tell me about that relationship. How's it going? You, you happy? You, you having fun in that relationship? Or what's it's, it's towards its end? What's going on? and get in there and just play with it because the girls will reveal a lot to you if you can take it that direction, which most guys won't, and you'll learn so much in that. So let me know in the comments if you guys are out here doing this or if you have done this before and how it's worked for you. What have you noticed? What did you learn in doing so? So that the rest of the guys can see it as well and then start to pick up on that habit of doing it so that you guys again can start getting the girls that you actually want and stop settling for the girls that you don't want, okay? Anyways, guys, I hope that helped. I'll see you again next week. And remember, only the confident really lift. Anthony Wolf, you're signing off.